What's up garden nerds? Today we're going to do a backyard tour, a fall backyard tour. It is Monday, November 1st at about 5.30 in the evening and I want to show you my backyard and what I've been up to. I hope you enjoy it. Come on, let's go. So here we are as we first enter my backyard. I'm going to tell you guys what each plant is but I'm not going to go into too much detail otherwise that will take forever. Because as you can see there's lots of plants and trees back here but let's start right here with my little combination of vetiver grass and my carry mango tree that's been in the ground about three years right next to this huge orange jubilee which offers a really nice microclimate for the mango and then over here you have one of my garden boxes that is full of a bunch of different types of peppers tons of peppers in the next week or two i'm gonna have and then back here you have a cotton candy mango which has lived its whole life in this pot and will probably continue to leave it, live its life in that pot. It's given me good mangoes over the past few years. Here's some very neglected and abused citrus trees. Um, on this side right here we have a um, tangelo I believe it is and this other one a kumquat. And then we have a very good looking mango, a lemon zest, that has lived its whole life in this pot. And I'm hoping it gives me a few mangoes this year. Here's another garden box with the Carolina Reaper pepper. Excited to have lots of those. I love making salsa with them. And then I have a castor bean tree, which I keep cutting down and it keeps coming back. Very relentless. I never let it get too tall, but I like the way it looks. And then of course over here another orange jubilee and then if we swing back here behind the mango tree you see this mexican lime tree which gives me tons of limes juicy awesome limes so much that you see all these on the ground that i haven't been able to eat because i just have too many and it fruits almost year round this time of year it gives me a lot but uh, throughout the year there's always a few limes on the tree which i love Here's some more vetiver grass. And then here is a mango unknown variety, though I think it's Alfonso. It gives me at least 10 mangoes every year, which are really, really good mangoes. And then come here, back up and zoom up. This is a moringa tree. This thing is about three years old. And it's huge, as you can tell. And I cut it down every single winter you can see right here is where I cut it last time and it's grown that much since then so I'll cut it down harvest the leaves turn them into powder I have a moringa video if you want to watch it for more information here's a bonanza tree that at this point is probably getting too much shade might be time to remove that another orange jubilee which I planted initially to protect the avocado tree which is right here which at this point the avocado tree I think is ready to get more sun you can see it's kind of shaded here by this palm tree which needs to be trimmed but if you can't tell it's like up to here it's like six seven eight feet tall so it's growing really well I think I'm gonna open it up give it a little bit more sun this year encourage it to grow up higher and hopefully get avocados and then here is a very neglected and abused star fruit tree which I have not gotten fruit on yet. Um, I honestly forget it's back there most of the time, but it, it's a good looking tree. I like the leaves. Orange tree. Oranges are starting to turn orange. I cannot wait. It gives me awesome, sweet, juicy oranges every year. And then next to it is a lemon tree, which gives me way too many lemons every year. And then let's come over here. This is my medjool date palm which i planted this past summer did a video on that excited for that to get nice and big and then back behind here yellow tacoma and grapevine step back that is a phoenix mango which i also planted this year excited to get some mangoes on that one i had one this year and it was really really good let's back up and keep coming this way here is my bamboo, green timber bamboo, which now is getting very, very tall. 
I love the way it looks, especially up against my fence of the pool. When I'm in the pool, it just kind of gives that tropical feeling, which I love. Then if we come here, here is my fall garden, which is doing awesome. I have broccoli, cauliflower, and then over here, I have some lettuce. And it is growing awesome. This year, guys, I took tons of bamboo mulch because bamboo sheds a lot. So I took a ton of that, threw it down in here, let it sit for about a month in between my summer garden and the time I planted my fall garden. And then I just planted directly into all that mulch and my fall garden is absolutely loving it. So if you have bamboo, use the mulch to condition your soil. And then here's another grapevine that I have climbing my pool fence. Here's my pool, which let me show you the other side of the bamboo, which you see while you're in the pool, which I love the look. So let's come over here. We have the marigold that I've let grow up nice and tall. I just trimmed it though, so it looks a little thin, um, but it needed to be trimmed. I have a video on that one as well. Let's come back here into the pool area. Here is my pomegranate, which I forget the variety of this one, but seem to have a decent amount of pomegranates on that. And then this huge thing is my mulberry tree, which has started to lose its leaves because it's deciduous. Gives me thousands of mulberries every year. And I need it to hurry and lose its leaves because I have planted some fall vegetables in here as well, some more um, broccoli and cauliflower and some more lettuce and also some strawberries more orange jubilees back here and here's my Buddha's belly bamboo which I love as well and then if you come back over here let me show you this is not a fruit tree but it's a Chinese pistache, a red bush pistache. Get it nice and tall. This one I am using for a canopy for this whole area because I want it all to be shaded under here. So I, I'm training the canopy to be up very high so that we can walk under it, stand under it, put tables under it, and enjoy the shade under it in the summer. And in the winter, it'll lose its lace and give us some sun. You come back here. This is a Kent mango tree. The first mango tree I ever planted when I had no idea what I was doing. Planted it right in the rocks, no mulch. Dug the hole just as big enough to put the, put the tree in the ground and that was it. So it suffered a little bit as I've learned, but uh, it still seems to be pushing along and it gives me a few good mangoes every year. And Kent is one of my favorite varieties. And then here is a Hawaiian papaya planted from seed. Saw some flowers on there the other day, so I should get some papaya soon. But as a lot of you know, if you watch my videos, I don't like papayas, I just like the way the tree looks. Here is a banana tree, unknown variety, gives me bananas, but they're very small. Not my favorite banana tree to grow, but it grows really well, and I like the tropical look. And then next to it, you see my sweet tart mango, my very favorite mango by far. Um, and this tree is looking really well. It's growing very tall. It's about a foot or two above the black wall and getting taller. And I hope to get lots of yummy mangoes this year. And then over here is the Barbados cherry. I've let it kind of grow wild. I like to train it more like a bush instead of letting it grow wild. So I'll give it a good trim this year, but I'll wait until after winter because it is a little cold sensitive. So I'll let it keep all that foliage to help protect it over the winter in case it gets too cold. And then over here is a pomegranate tree that I love and hate because it's a wonderful pomegranate and I just don't like it. It seems to get hit harder by the leaf footed bugs, which makes a lot of the pomegranates unedible. Just not my favorite pomegranate, but it is one of the first ever fruit trees that I planted so I have a hard time taking it out or not liking it. 
because it grows really easily. You can see here I haven't protected it. And the birds destroyed that one. I should protect them. And then if we continue on, you see this is my apple tree. It is a Anna apple tree with a tropic sweet um, variety as well. It's a multi-graft, got it from RSI Growers out of Glendale. This thing has been very simple and easy to care for. And it gives me dozens of apples every year so far. This is a new area that used to be a shed. It used to be a bunch of junk, but I've converted it into a little butterfly hummingbird garden for my girls. I've planted some tropical um, milkweed and over here some desert milkweed and then some native trees or native plants here. This is a banana tree that I recently planted and you can see the ugly block wall. But back here, I planted some creeping fig and I hope that starts to spread and cover the wall so I don't see that ugly block wall. Instead, I'll see beautiful creeping fig, nice and green. Um, and then here, this peach tree right here is a tropic snow peach tree. And then if you see this monster, it's actually in the front yard. This is my Florida Prince peach tree. I don't know, that thing is 15 feet tall, 20 feet tall. Way too big. Gives me hundreds and hundreds of peaches every year. That's on the other side. I'm going to cut that down. And then last is my coconut palm right in there. I tried one before. I neglected it during the winter. It died because it got too cold. I'm hoping because it's right here next to this block wall. And here's my house right here. I'm hoping that because of that, it will keep it nice and warm during the winter and it'll survive. We'll see. All right, guys, that is it. I hope you enjoyed the little tour of my backyard. If you have any questions about anything I've grown, let me know. I probably made a video about it, but thank you for watching. Thank you for your support. Please subscribe to the channel, like the video, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks, guys.